Well, the latest acquisition here just arrived in the mail. This is a Tektronix Type 130 LC meter. These, uh, these date from the 1950s, late 50s, early 1960s. And uh, this was pretty inexpensive as these typically go for a hundred plus dollars. This was considerably less than that. Uh, so I figured, well, <clears throat> why not take a chance and see see what this uh, see how this goes, this restoration. This instrument looks horrible. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. There's a small scratch in the meter lens, and it smells of cigarette smoke, uh, which would be consistent with the dinge that is all over this unit. Uh, see what happens if I just wipe this with a little isopropyl alcohol wipe and uh, yeah it's going to take a while for all this stuff to come off but anyway there we have it there's some scratches down here um, on the back of course it didn't come with a uh, power cord and the fuse holder is missing the cap right here and just as well because the fuse seems to be stuck in the capless fuse holder so there's that uh, and when I, uh, I don't know if you can hear this but there's something rattling around inside of it that's rarely a good sign. But what is a good sign is if I take this, if I jiggle it back and forth a little bit, the meter seems to uh, swing freely. So, so that's good. All right, well, I'll open it up here in just a moment and look inside and we'll be right back. All right, the way that these old Tektronics chassis open is just a simple twist of two screws here on the side. And this then comes out and is completely off. This looks pretty horrible inside. There's no two ways about it. There's a bunch of fuzz this is really dirty inside. Let's just zoom in a little bit. You can see these, I think these are pots, these potentiometers up here have been wiped off. Uh, the grit and the grime of the years have been wiped off at some point, probably not terribly recently, to look at the part numbers. The uh, switches down here look very dirty, and uh, you know, the bottom bottom looks really bad as well. Yeah. So you see, we're going to have our work cut out for us. But the good news is, is this looks pretty much completely original. Let's uh, open up the other side and see what see what that holds for us. Well, this side uh, this side looks a little cleaner. It's probably an illusion. Very, very nice layout, very clean layout. The uh, transformer there looks pretty good. Doesn't, you know, I don't see smoke or burn marks anywhere here. 
A lot of dust on these old vacuum tubes. I see uh, a couple of Sylvania tubes and can't really make out the other the other tubes. One uh, capacitor can there. Variable capacitors over here. Um, all right, so this looks pretty doable, he said confidently. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But I just wanted to do a very quick video here of the before, and then we'll do one or more videos of the during the repair and uh, refurbishment and uh, see how see how it goes, see if we can get this back into working order. Thanks for watching.